subscribe Vision Channel. Today we will share information about around the sea world. Let's explore the sea. Lanternfish. Lanternfish are small mesopelagic fish of the large family Myctophidae. One of two families in the order Myctophiformes, the Myctophidae are represented by 246 species in 33 genera. Lanternfishes are aptly named after their conspicuous use of bioluminescence. Their sister family, the Neoscoplidae, are much fewer in number but superficially very similar. At least one Neoscope lead satisfies the common name, lanternfish, the large-scaled lanternfish, Neoscopelus macrolepidotus. Lanternfish are among the most widely distributed, diverse and populous vertebrates, with some estimates. Suggesting that they may have a total global biomass of 1.8 to 16 gigatons, accounting for up to 65% of all deep sea fish biomass. Commercial fisheries for them exist off South Africa, in the Sub-Antarctic, and in the Gulf of Oman. Description Lanternfish typically have a slender, compressed body covered in small, silvery deciduous cycloid scales, a large bluntly rounded head. Large elliptical to round lateral eyes, and a large terminal mouth with jaws closely set with rows of small teeth. The fins are generally small, with a single high dorsal fin, a forked caudal fin, and an adipose fin. The anal fin is supported by a cartilaginous plate at its base, and originates under, or slightly bent, the rear part of the dorsal fin. The pectoral fins, usually with eight rays, may be large and well-developed to small and degenerate, or completely absent in a few species. In some species, such as those of the genus Lampanectus, the pectorals are greatly elongated. Most lanternfish have a gas bladder, but it degenerates or fills with lipids during the maturation of a few species. In all but one species, Taninectis paurolichinus, a number of photophores, light-producing organs, are present. They are pirate and concentrated in ventrolateral rows on the body and head. Some may also possess specialist photophores, in proximity to the eyes, and luminous patches at the base of the fins. The photophores emit a weak blue, green, or yellow light, and are known to be arranged in species-specific patterns. In some species, the pattern varies between males and females. This is true for the luminous caudal patches, with the males being typically above the tail and the females being below the tail. Lanternfish are generally small fish, ranging from about 2 to 30 cm in length, with most being under 15 cm. Shallow living species are an iridescent blue to green or silver, while deeper living species are dark brown to black. Ecology Lanternfish are well known for their gill vertical migrations. During daylight hours, most species remain within the gloomy zone. Between 300 and 1500 meters deep, but towards sundown, the fish begin to rise into the epipelagic zone, between 10 and 100 meters deep. The lanternfish are thought to do this to avoid predation, and because they are following the gill vertical migrations of zooplankton. After a night spent feeding in the surface layers of the water column, the lanternfish begin to descend back into the lightless depths. By releasing fecal pellets at depth, lanternfish make the carbon capture process called biological pump more efficient. 
most species remain near the coast, schooling over the continental slope. Different species are known to segregate themselves by depth, forming dens, probably to avoid competition between different species. Due to their gas bladders, the cell layers are visible on sonar scans and give the impression of a false bottom. This is the so-called deep scattering layer that so perplexed early oceanographers. Great variability in migration patterns occurs within the family. Some deeper living species may not migrate at all, while others may do so only sporadically. Migration patterns may also depend on life stage, sex, latitude, and season. The arrangements of lanternfish photophores are different for each species. So their bioluminescence is thought to play a role in communication, specifically in shoaling and courtship behavior. The concentration of the photophores on the flanks of the fish also indicate the light through as camouflage. In a strategy termed counter-illumination, the lanternfish regulate the brightness of the bluish light emitted by their photophores. To match the ambient light level above, effectively masking the lanternfish's silhouette when viewed from below. A major source of food for many marine animals, lanternfish are an important link in the food chain of many local ecosystems. Being heavily preyed upon by whales and dolphins, large pelagic fish such as salmon, tuna and sharks, grenadiers. Other deep sea fish, pinnipeds, sea birds, notably penguins, and large squid such as the jumbo squid, Dosidicus gigas. Lanternfish themselves have been found to feed on bits of plastic debris accumulating in the oceans. At least one lanternfish was found with over 80 pieces of plastic chips in its boot. According to scientists monitoring ocean plastic in the Pacific Ocean's eastern garbage patch. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this channel. See you later!